Hey guys, I apologize for being dark as shit. I want to get natural light in my eyes, not artificial light like my phone in my eyes and just draw my eyes even more. You know, this is not just a message to you know to people who are watching this video. This is a message to myself. This is a message to countless young men who are engrossed in that video game lifestyle and like are super super deep in it. But feel as if something's wrong. Feel as if something isn't exactly right, and they know that they could be doing so much better. That they're wasting their potential. That they're wasting their life. You know, the video is going to start with congratulations. You wasted your life in video games. But it's not just a congratulations. It's beyond that, instead of mocking it, we have to analyze it deeper and understand it at a deeper level. Like why the fuck are we so addicted to these video games? Why? because they manipulate us they manipulate that urge to be ambitious to be successful to be powerful to be respected those masculine desires they're off put into the video game and as your real body dwindles as your real mind dwindles and your and your eyes are fucked you get glasses like me you level up in the video game you become level 2 million, or 2,000, 1,000. You become top 10 ranked in your, your country. You become top 10 ranked in your region. Whoa. And as that person in the video game, your character levels up, you level down. That's what's happening. Congratulations. You're wasting your life. You know, I saw my friend's little brother. He has a funny name, it's kind of goofy, I like him though. And they're Blasian, so yeah, they can remind my future self. Yes, it's you. And his little brother was holding a PS4 controller, like, nagging me to get on. I said, fuck off, I already played my, my hours. I played for like two hours that day. Fuck off, two hours plus actually. Because I already started recording, like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes into the game. So probably two hours and a half, roughly. If not a bit less. And he wanted to want me, want me, he wanted to play with me thereafter. I said no. I rejected him. I said another time. But here's the secret. There is going to be no other time. There is going to be no other moment in which I play video games with this guy. You know, congratulations, you play video games, you stay in the same place. Like nothing's changed in your life. As my life changes, as the individuals you look up to life changes and they become infinitely better. You remain the same. You know, I saw him yesterday on Discord. He was holding controller, and it was like just like the good old days. And I thought to myself a myriad of things, like some people never change. I told him so many times not to play video games, stop playing video games, etc., etc. And now I'm back in a video game with him, but then I left willingly because I don't respect him. I don't respect the video games. I don't respect all this time. This time is wasted. I thought to myself, I rationalized at the time before I started playing. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have some time to relax, etc., etc. Relax, what? I can't believe I said that shit. What happened to my motto of get money in a life worth living? What the fuck, man? The title of the video will be Congratulations, you wasted your life just yet again. And. It's, it's this deep video, it's resounding. I don't. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to play video games anymore. I just want to be free. This is not making me free. This is instant gratification. This is escapism. And why do people have and rationalize and cope with escapism activities? Because their reality is shit. People will cope and rationalize with their insecurities. With their pains and their depression and all these horrible, horrible things that happen to them, and anxious, all the horrible experiences that happen to them, and they rationalize it and cope with it with video games, with escapism, with manga, with anime, with YouTube, social media. Do you not understand the detrimental effect of this? Do you not understand the whole point of escapism activities is to escape your reality? The fact remains that your life is shit. So you go to the video game where your life is good. 
you go to Warframe when you have a cool spaceship, you're in perfect physical shape, you're strong, you're destroying everyone around you, you're respected by your peers and your clan, but in real life no one respects you. You're the hermit that stays in his room all day playing playing video games. How fucked is that? That's fucked. How is that situation of you being a neat, a hikikomori, a shut-in, even possible? Through distraction, through escapism activities. Congratulations, you waste your life yet again. Are you going to do it again? Probably. You hate it when you're doing it? Yeah, you do. So what the fuck are you waiting for? Jesus, man. Jesus. You know, I had a nightmare before I woke up. It is currently 4.31. I woke up at 1 a.m. in the morning, 1.30 roughly. So at 9 p.m. I decided that I would destroy my broken sleep schedule and try to sleep early. And I did sleep early. I felt tired at 9, 9 p.m. No, I felt tired at 8 p.m. 8.30 I was still doing work. I closed my, my computer. I relaxed my mind. And then I went to bed. 9 p.m. And then four hours later, I wake up 1 a.m. and I can't really go back to sleep because then I'm worried. I got 10 a.m. six hours. Ten, in six hours, I got I got something to be somewhere to be and this this and that and oh maybe I could take a two-hour power nap etc. I'm overthinking. Wake up and go back to work. This is self-induced. This is my fault. I had a nightmare. It's my fault. The nightmare was stupid. It's not real. It's all fantasy. Irrational belief. Mental illness. I dreamed of something and I genuinely thought it was real. Genuinely. Oh, I rush, I say, oh, it's an alternate reality. Shut the fuck up. They're not alternate reality. It's not real. This is my reality. This is the world that I live in. Fuck that shit, man. I hate that shit. I hate that shit. I thought, if I think about it more, it's going to come real. No. I could think about becoming a millionaire all day. I will not become a millionaire. But if I do the actions that push me towards being a millionaire, I will become a millionaire. And I think about it, of course, as well, I will become a millionaire. So what's the hold up? Think about becoming a millionaire. Come on, man. Come on, action. Action. Jesus. Ugh. You know, the world we live in, it discourages action, it discourages masculine energy, it discourages masculine drive. It rewards femininity in men and masculinity in women. Yeah, girl boss, yeah, girl boss. Oh, he's just a submissive femboy. This is disgusting. Masculinity is going to nice. You know what? You know what I say to that? So be it. So be it if masculinity is villainized. People will inherently fucking know. Right? You don't need to mention it. If you talk about it, Oh, I'm masculine, I'm feminine, no, 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 no. It'll be unattractive because people are inherently, inherently designed to hate what everyone else is hating. But if you're purely masculine on your own, you don't mention it at all. But you, you carry yourself with a masculine presence. You carry yourself through actions, not through talking. Then you will achieve what you want to achieve. People will respect you for being masculine. If you always talk about masculine and feminine energy, people will respect you less. It's weird. You just have to know it, but not talk about it. Because normies will disrespect you, but you want the respect of normies, right? So don't talk about it. Pure action. Mike Tyson, of course he talked a lot of shit. If he's not dead, he doesn't count. I want to eat his children, etc, etc, etc. Beyond that, when the time came down, he had no music playing. If he did, he had like some threatening, worrying eh, music going on. And he said nothing. He let his hands talk. And he obliterated his enemies. And you gain the respect of the masses. That's what happened. And that's what you should do too. I'm not going to sleep again. I'm going <coughs> to finish my meditation session. I stopped my meditation session now, um, six minutes in, in order to record this video. Stupid of me. I'm going to do the smart thing and redo it.
Hey Siri. Set a time for nine minutes and thirty seconds. Catch guys in the next video. Peace. What the fuck, man? Every single time. 4 a.m. for real. Focus. 4 a.m. for real. I want to fix my sleep. My body thinks otherwise. Live mediocre, die mediocre. Don't fucking give up. Please. Camera close.